Hi, my name is Michael Atman with Iconasys. Today we'll be doing a real-time workflow video communicating our Shutterstream 360 product photography software for shooting 360 product images using a manual photography turntable. Um, our setup here today is one of our LumiPad lighting systems, our 18-inch manual turntable, a 360 acrylic riser, and a Canon Rebel T5 camera. On this turntable, it actually has 72 individual notches placed around the outside. And what I've done is gone ahead and marked with a blue piece of tape every third uh, notch, just as I wish to shoot a total of 24 frames. It'll be visually easier for me to position um, at each of these individual frames. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're gonna do is turn on our camera and we'll go ahead and launch the software. So after we've launched the software, that's going to enable a real-time preview of what our camera sees. Again, our camera is connected via USB and the Shutterstream 360 application is going to give us full control over camera settings through mouse click. So always my first step is to take my object and let me just zoom out my camera here just so you can see what I'm seeing. Um, I'll just take my object and position it in the center of the turntable. Uh, the nice thing about the real-time preview is you do have guide markers that can help as long as your camera is positioned um, shooting at the center of the turntable straight on. Um, these guide markers will be great for helping you just find the center point um, or positioning your object in the center of the turntable. So we're going to make some small adjustments here and uh, while in a real-time preview and very first step will just be to optimize our camera settings as well. Um, as you can see, you can make changes to your aperture, shutter speed, white balance, and as you make these changes, it's actually going to show the results in real time on the monitor. So what we want to do here is just optimize our camera settings for our lighting environment. And I'll probably do it about one-fifth of a second shutter speed. Maybe we'll go down to one-fourth. And that's looking pretty good, pretty color accurate. Uh, the next thing you're going to see is it's a little bit blurry here, so I'm just going to uh, toggle into my manual focus mode and while in manual focus I will just choose my position here and I want to adjust my focal point using these mouse clicks here and we're gonna be able to see nice and up close when we can bring our product back into focus which is looking pretty good right there so after we've kind of uh, set up all our camera settings these will be retained from shot to shot um, our next step would be to enter into the 360 mode and choose the manual turntable shooting mode and while still in the real-time preview again we just want to do a little pre-rotate here and what I'm gonna do is just slightly adjust my product here. Again, these guide markers should help me understand if I position my object in the center of the turntable. So I'm just gonna do a pre-spin and it looks like we're doing pretty good here with uh, our object positioning. The next thing that I can do is adjust a pre-crop marker. So I'm gonna go and say, only take a picture of what's inside this area that I define. And I'll do one more pre-rotate here. just to ensure that my object is not going to fall outside the crop marker. So it looks like we're doing quite well there. I'll set my, uh, my turntable to my first shooting angle. So maybe I'll want to use this shooting angle to start. And what I'm going to do inside the software is choose the number of frames. Again, I'm shooting 24 frames is what I, uh, what I prefer. And then I'm going to say, you can manually snap. That would be turn the turntable to stop. Then you can manually hit this snap button here or else you can say just auto capture an image every three seconds. So what I'm gonna do is place a little guide marker and that's actually just gonna be a pin um, just lined up and every three seconds the camera's gonna capture so I'm gonna be required to actually turn the turntable um, to each of these positions obviously as it's a manual turntable. So let's go ahead and get started. I will hit start. That's gonna capture the first angle. I will move my turntable to the second image, stop. And that's my workflow all completely automated capture I'm just moving my turntable okay um, so the entire image capture time took about 1 minute 30 seconds my next step is to select all my images uh, we do have a great image editing suite inside of here that allow you to make some color changes if required so I might want to add a little bit of contrast using my levels tool you can do color correction you can do background removal if need be might add a little bit of sharpness as well and the great thing about this is after I made my editing changes to one image I can hit apply to all and in a batch process it'll apply to the entire set of images. Now that we've completed our batch image editing I will go into my saving tool um, so I'll just call this ASICS 
gel pulse nine. Uh, it's going to name the images sequentially 0, 1 through 24. I can also choose the battery size. So maybe I want all these images at, say, 2,000 pixels wide. In a batch process, when saving out, it's going to uh, do the resizing as well as the renaming. Now that we've output all our images, we'll go and open up the included 360 View Creator software. As we can see, uh, we'll also open up this folder with all 24 frames. I will drag and drop the set of images inside of here and that's going to compose them into an interactive 360 product view. And there we can see our 360 output. Again, interactive uh, sports features like deep zoom. So if you want to, you can go ahead and zoom nice and up close. Um, we just go ahead and we'll uh, output our 360 view, ASIC shoe. Uh, to whatever folder you'd like to save to and uh, then you have your 360 file ready to go for your uh, to upload to your website if you have any questions let us know again the company name is Iconosys thank you